What is cross-contamination? Microbiological contamination is the spread of harmful microorganisms to foods that don't naturally contain these microorganisms. They can be present naturally or get into foods through a carrier. Carriers are people or things carrying microorganisms that can end up in food that is not handled safely. Because microorganisms are so small, they can't be seen with a naked eye and can be on people and objects without you know it. People can transfer germs they have into the food they are preparing. A person can have an infection without showing any symptoms or signs. In fact, we are constantly carrying some germs around. Feeling well doesn't necessarily mean you don't have any microorganisms on your body. People can also pick up microorganisms from one type of food and transfer them to another if they don't handle the food safely. Chemicals can also get into food by accident through cross-contamination. If a cleaning product is spilled on the kitchen countertop and no one cleans the area for food preparation, it can end up on food and contaminate someone. Therefore, cross-contamination is the unintentional transfer of microorganisms, chemical contaminants, or any foreign substance from food, person, or objects to another food product. Cross-contamination happens in three ways. Food to food. Raw food or juices come in contact with ready-to-eat food. Equipment to food. The same equipment is used with raw and ready-to-eat food, without cleaning in between. People to food. Hands that have touched raw food then touch red to eat food without being washed in between. There are some simple actions you can take to avoid cross contamination. Wash your hands when starting cooking, changing tasks, and before and after using the washroom. When food is stored in a fridge, it's important to place in a way that helps prevent cross contamination. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood on the lower shelves and cover to avoid cross-contamination with spills or juice. Cooking equipment and tools, such as cutting boards and knives, should be handled separately from others when preparing raw meats and must be cleaned and sanitized in between uses. Store cleaning materials and other chemicals separately from food products. Wooden cutting boards are entry doors and colonies of bacteria due to their microscope cracks making cleaning difficult. When tasting food, use a disposable spoon. Every cook should be able to identify a potential cross-contamination situation and prevent it from happening. These actions will significantly reduce the risk of cross-contamination.